Now you're watching Gears, brought to you by Ram Truck. You know, most people realize the importance of public servants, from policemen to firemen to road construction workers to sanitation workers. I mean, there's a bunch out there. And these are the people that keep our towns and cities operating. The problem is, there is one group that's almost always overlooked, and that is the volunteer fire department. Now, since these guys are volunteers, most of the time they don't get paid anything to put their life on the line to protect you and your family. On top of that, they generally have to use old, worn-out equipment that they got from old fire departments. Well, we figured that is unacceptable. Now, obviously, we can't do something for every volunteer fire department out there, but we can do something for the local one. So we decided we were going to take their brush truck and transform it into something that they can really use. The truck in question is a 2008 Chevy 4x4 Dually that basically had a tank and a pump tossed into it so it could fight a fast spreading brush fire. Unfortunately, brush fires don't just happen on the highway and they move very quickly. So this truck as it sits is kind of limited in what it can do. We're gonna change that. One thing that a brush truck has got to have is speed. I mean, it's got to be able to get in and out of places quickly. And it's got to have enough grunt to carry a big water tank and all this equipment. Keep in mind, we're not trying to build a hot rod here, though. It's got to be safe and reliable, because like we said before, people's lives are going to depend on how well this truck performs. So it can't overheat, can't break down, can't give us any problems. So we went to Gelbanks Engineering, see if we can do something about working over that Duramax. The system we're using comes from Gelbanks Engineering and it's called the Power Pack. And it's all designed to work together to give you up to 100 extra horsepower and 235 extra foot pounds of safe, reliable power. Now they do that by first of all getting more air into the engine with this air inlet system. As you can see, there's a new box for the filter, nice radius bends, and a high flowing filter. This will actually flow 50% more air than your stock system. Then, of course, everything goes into the turbo. It's all compressed. It gets hot and bothered. Then it flows into this big bank's intercooler. Now, this will cool everything way down and is also big enough to have the capacity to handle all that extra airflow. Then, of course, everything goes into the engine and the magic happens. Now, of course, getting more air out is just as important as getting it in. So the system also includes this monster exhaust system. It features four inch stainless steel tubing, mandrel bends, so you're gonna get great flow out of it. But the best thing about this exhaust system is this little thing here called the cool cuff. Now most people realize that the exhaust coming out of a diesel engine can actually be hot enough to start a fire. The last thing that they wanna do with a fire truck. What the cool cuff does is allows air to flow in here. It actually goes into the pipe mixes with the exhaust, so by the time it comes out the tailpipe, it's just warm. If you use your truck for construction, ranching, farming, anything where there's a potential to start a fire, you have got to have one of these. Now, I know you're wondering about an engine management system. The power pack comes with that too. Check this out. You got the Economine diesel tuner and the Banks IQ. Now, what this will allow you to do is change power levels while you're driving down the road and make all kinds of other adjustments to make sure your engine is running at peak performance and economy. You also have a backup camera to see what's going on behind you. Now, I know this looks like a lot of stuff, and it is, but it's not that hard to put in. And it's the perfect setup for somebody that's doing a lot of towing and hauling, which is exactly what a fire engine does. There is no comparable product in the aftermarket. It doesn't exist. In fact, there's no OE comparable product, no option. At Banks, we are the option that the factory doesn't offer. That's been our market position from the very beginning. The air intake system is the first to go as we get the stock intake tube and air box out of the way. After that, the front end needs to come apart so we can replace the intercooler. That means the grill needs to come off and everything in front of it. Next, we'll pull off the inner fenders. The 
headlight assemblies. The latch support. And finally, the old intercooler. Now it's just a matter of dropping in the new Banks intercooler and putting it all back together. Hey, we're back and coming down the final stretch of converting a 2008 Chevy pickup into a state-of-the-art brush truck for the local volunteer fire department. Now, obviously, there's a lot of changes done to this body and a lot of changes under the hood. But the cool thing is, everything we did under the hood is 50 state emissions legal and it's all readily available for you to put on your truck so you can have better economy, better performance without sacrificing reliability. We started with the bank's cold air intake system and intercooler that work together to deliver a cool, dense blast of air to your engine. We followed that with their monster exhaust system to help get air out. The computer also got a serious upgrade by plugging in the bank's diesel tuner. All of this will not only allow the truck to get where it needs to go in a hurry, but also allow the firefighters to keep rolling even if the pavement ends. Now you can see why it was so important to add a suspension lift and bigger tires. To help bring all that weight to a stop, the bank's speed brake is the perfect thing to add if you need additional braking power to help stop a heavy vehicle like a fully loaded fire truck. But one of the coolest things that we put on is this little unit called the Banks IQ Flash. Now I know it looks like a conventional tuner, but it's not. It's actually got a lot more in common with your smartphone than a conventional tuner. Check it out. You can change power levels, adjust your speed brake, even monitor your gauges all while driving down the road. There's the ability to stream and download stuff, talk on the phone, or see what's behind you with the backup camera. All the stuff your dashboard doesn't do, or do, doesn't serve to you, we do. And then, of course, there's the GPS, the turbo timer, the onboard dyno, the density gauge, the carbon footprint gauge, and on and on. The IQ Flash basically gives a person the ability to interface with a vehicle's computer in so many ways it'll blow your mind. There is no comparable product in the aftermarket. It doesn't exist. In fact, there's no OE comparable product. And when you add all that to the rest of the rig, you end up with a vehicle that will do the job it's meant to do no matter what the situation. When they go in harm's way, they need to get in. It has to be reliable so that when it's time to get the hell out of Dodge, there are enough banks horsepower to get them up and out of there. At this point, it was finally time to take the truck back to the fire station and let the volunteers take a break and check out their new rig. Oh, man, that is sharp. Hey, both of us, thank you. Thank you. It's nice. But the break didn't last too long because the alarm went off. And the new brush truck had to get back to work the perfect end of a great project. Now that is what it's all about, and that's Gears. <laughs>